Welcome to this Photoshop tutorial on uh, introducing a little bit of black and white to an image and then keeping some of the color. So we're going to use this image. I'm going to set the background to be black and white and I'm going to set this with the flower in the foreground to be color. There's a number of different tools we can use to select the flower first in order to make a mask. So some of these are up here, for instance, a lasso, polygonal lasso or magnetic lasso tool. Probably the most efficient way to do it is through this quick selection. You can also use the object selection tool, which is a relatively new tool in Photoshop. Uh, it isn't always accurate, uh, but it can often do a good job. But for this one, we're going to use the quick selection tool. I'm just going to press Control D to deselect and using the quick selection tool, which is a brush based tool. I'm going to select the flower here so you can increase or decrease the size of the brush as you wish just remember that it's good to have the little in the toolbar options up here it's good to have this uh, brush with the plus because this will allow you to add to the selection so if you just start clicking in the area that you want to select so i start with the stalk and i move into the flower you can see it does a pretty nice job here and it, it's pretty quick at making an accurate an accurate selection. If you do end up going over a little bit, you can hold down the Alt key and you'll see the plus turn to a minus and then click in the area you want to remove. And now I'm pretty happy with that selection. Just maybe add a little bit down here and remove that little bit here. Okay. So now in order to make a mask out of this, uh, to turn it black and white, first we need to uh, enhance the selection a little bit. So I'm going to go back to my, uh, on the toolbar options for the, for the quick selection. I'm going to choose select and mask, and I'm going to smooth out this and add a little bit of feathering very small amount of feathering just to make it look a little bit more realistic uh, maybe contract that edge a little bit and that's okay so I click on okay then and now we've adjusted the selection and we're going to then invert the selection by going to select inverse and now we're ready we can add our black and white mask uh, via the adjustment layers so I'm going to click on this fly out menu on the layers panel and I'm going to go to black and white. And you can see now we've got a nice mask here and the rest of our image is in black and white and the flower remains in color. And you can adjust the back of the image as you wish. If you want to make further adjustments to your mask, you can do that by using the brush tool. So you find the brush tool here in the toolbar on the left and then you can either add or remove to your mask or remember to add to the mask you use black so black will mask out the black and white effect uh, if you want to remove it then you need to choose white so i press x on the keyboard to switch my background color which is white to my foreground color and then i can remove the mask in other areas if i want to all right thank you for watching this tutorial